Your new niece is being christened. It's gonna be a Dallas. It's gonna be nice. I need you to wake up. I need to tell you about Gabrielle and I. And I need you to understand. Look at your boys crying. Did you get to oh. wear today? Oh, you to dress upstairs? <laughs> yes, it's upstairs. Okay. I need to get dressed too. Um, all right, I gotta call Fusion. Make sure that Erica's office is all ready to go, and then I have to call the contractor. Okay, okay, okay. go, go, we're fine. You guys set? Yeah. All right. Okay. See you in a minute. Oh. Hmm. We're lay down for a bit. Oh, good girl. that I'm calling you, but I, I had to. She needs you. We need you. Um, oh. Forgot these. <laughs> hey, what, uh, what's wrong? Nothing, nothing. No, I was just calling the bakery to see when the stupid cake is coming. I, I, I know, I, I'm, I'm nervous. This is such an important day, and we have so much that we still need to do. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. All right, it's gonna be fine. So, so what if uh, we run out of ice, okay? So what if there are toys all over the floor? So what if Gabby just starts crying when she gets hit with that water? Because you know what? I'm gonna be crying. <laughs> it's okay. I know, I just I want everything to be perfect. Sweetheart. We are together, all right? We have two beautiful, happy, healthy children, all right? What could be more perfect than that? Mm. We're a family. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, 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 no. It's okay. Oh, my God, if I'm this freaked out about a christening, imagine how I'm going to be at our wedding. Oh, you're going to be beautiful, oh, but... The baby shower, what about that? Baby shower? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for our next kid, you know? And the one after that, and maybe what? the two following that. Three more? Maybe four. Four? <laughs> okay, fine, deal. But la listen, lady, we're taking turns, Ooh, and you're okay. up. I am ready. <laughs> oh, really? Mm -hmm. So you don't remember the mood swings? The morning sickness, mm -hmm. the exhaustion, the gigantic breasts. <sighs> yes. Yes, please. <laughs> oh. Mm. Mm. No, golly. Oh. I think she heard you say gigantic breasts. Oh. Oh. Somebody <laughs> so tiny eats so much. Oh, hi. Okay. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm going to make one more phone call and okay. then I'll be done. Everything's going to be fine. Stop right. worrying. All right. Mr. Slater, it's nice to see you again. Hey. It's nice to see you. I'd like an update on my wife. Well, she's holding steady. She's holding steady? I brought her all the way up here, away from her friends and her family, and she's holding steady? You're supposed to make her better, make her better. <laughs> I wish it were that simple. But in cases like this, a great deal of patience is required. Yeah. I got two boys. They're getting bigger every day. Her sister just had a baby she hasn't even seen yet, and, and she, she's missing everything. She, I don't, I don't want to. Thanksgiving's next week, and I'd like to have her home. Can we do that? Look, Mr. Slater, your wife is receiving the best possible care. She has a thorough treatment plan, stimulating her on every level: uh, sensory, taste, audio, physiotherapy, medication, and we're playing her the recordings. That so how come us. she's not getting better? Mr. Slater, I understand your frustration, but please know we're doing everything we possibly can. Oh, excuse me. Hmm? I 
gotta go. But I brought you something. I've been trying to get in touch with you. Oh, please forgive me for not getting right back to you, Father. I, I you I, let me in... introduce you. This is my daughter Bianca. This is Gabrielle's mother. Mm -hmm. And and this is Reese. This Hi. is um this is uh, Gabrielle's other mother. So nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello. Might we speak in private? Oh, I'm actually just standing in for the godmother. You really should speak to Bianca and Reese. When Miss Kane called and asked if I would christen her daughter's baby, I wasn't aware the other parent was also a woman. I assumed Reese was a man. I only found out when I called Miss Montgomery to confirm the address. You um, didn't mention this misunderstanding over the phone. Father Fleming, Miss Kane's friend and regular minister, is out of town. I'm substituting for him. I just don't feel comfortable representing the parish in this situation. I suggest you and your postpone the ceremony until Father Fleming returns. In other words, you refuse to christen the baby of gay parents. No, no, it, uh, I never been in this situation before. Stop calling it a situation. This is a sacred rite of passage for a baby and her loving parents and her family. Miss Kane. Goodbye, Father Logan. Father, we are all God's children. I am so sorry. I'm going to get right on the phone. I will find you someone else. 